Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is ad networks evade ad blockers with DGAs. According to an organization called NetLab360, who did some research into some advertisement campaigns, one of the ad networks out there is using something called a domain generation algorithm to try to evade ad blockers. You probably know there's ad networks out there that buy advertising space on legitimate websites and in the little bit of space that a legitimate website gives them they force targeted advertisements to users now a lot of users don't like this so they use ad blockers and one way these ad blockers prevent these ads is by having a big list of known ad domains if they have that big list of domains they can simply prevent your browser from loading content from these advertising networks however in this case this particular ad network, let's call it Pop Ads, has started leveraging something that botnets and other malware use, something called domain generation algorithms. Basically, domain generation algorithms are special algorithms that just generate random domains. And uh, malware authors, or in this case, the ad network, will just occasionally register one of these random looking domains. And in this case, the ad network will have ads there. Now, how this works is basically if you go to a website with this particular ad network's ads, it first tries to send you to the normal ad network's domain, but if it can't get there, it will try again, this time using one of these generated random looking domain names, which is probably not in your ad blocker's list of known bad domains. To make matters worse, to really show you how crappy some of these ad networks are, besides trying to find a way to evade ad blockers, when you do go to the ads for this particular ad network, they also hijack your computer to a crypto jack coin hive. They turn your computer into a coin hive miner using 100% of your CPU's process, which personally I believe should be illegal. So it just goes to show you how kind of scammy some of these ad networks are. Anyways, I just thought it was an interesting story. I have other articles coming out talking about how advertising networks work with different legitimate websites, but this is particularly interesting because they're using malware techniques in order to evade ad blockers. Now, how can you prevent this yourself? One of my favorite tools is things like NoScript or SafeScript. These are plugins for your web browser that will prevent any kind of script, whether it be JavaScript, or Visual Basic or whatever by default. And the benefit of this is you can whitelist the script you want. For instance, if you go to a legitimate site, you can whitelist that domain, but it will still automatically block any other scripts from including ad networks and, for instance, these dynamically generated domain names as well. Since these ads tend to use script in order to redirect you or to present ads, just blocking script by default can prevent things like this from working. Furthermore, things like these crypto jacking sites actually also require JavaScript. So blocking JavaScript from these sites prevents that sort of crypto jacking. Anyways, interesting story. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.